So Vero Profumo is a line of fragrances that I was not too familiar with up until March of this year when I got to sample the collection of fragrances at Exons in uh, Milan. There they announced the latest release in the line called Naja, this right here. We're going to go ahead and review Naja, plus you'll have a chance at winning one of five samples if you are in the USA, so please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is the first time you're visiting this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button below and click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And that's right, we're gonna go ahead and review Naja by Vero Profumo. This is a limited edition release. This is limited to 650 pieces worldwide. This is because uh, Vero Profumo is celebrating 10 years of being in business. Um, the fragrance retails for $260 for a 50 ml. This is in Eau de Parfum concentration. If you want to pick up a sample or a bottle, uh, I have a link to Lucky Scent below. Click there and you'll be heading right over to the page where this fragrance is on Lucky Scent. A little more about Vero Profumo. The brand is from Switzerland and uh, the perfumes are created by Vero Kern. Unfortunately, I didn't get to meet her while I was in uh, Milan, but hopefully soon. For notes here in Naja, you've got Osmanthus, Absolute, you've got Melon, Linden Blossom, and Tobacco. And if you don't know what Naja is, it's an Indian word for the snake cobra. So as you can see, you've got the cobra uh, logo right here in green. So as I said, I sampled the line in Milan and there were several fragrances in the collection that I really loved, uh, which was my first time smelling these. And of course, this latest one is one of them. Um, this is all about leather to me. And of course, when I read you the notes, there's no leather note listed. So I'm assuming the leather is from an accord in combination with the notes. So the fragrance sprays on slightly fruity and floral. The Osmanthus Absolute gives off a fruity vibe. And then Linden Blossom takes over with the tobacco. There's a pretty big dominant Linden Blossom note in here. And it fades as the fragrance is drying. And the, the more the fragrance dries, the more leather kicks in. So I'm assuming it's a combination of the linden blossom and the tobacco that creates this leather accord. The leather in here becomes very smooth and soft, almost like the snake skin that the fragrance is uh, modeled after, the cobra skin. Um, it's very soft, it's very warm, and it's also very rich, and it's slightly animalic. And then as the fragrance is drying more and it becomes closer to the skin, that's when the leather really takes over. And that's where it starts reminding me of uh, classic leather fragrances. I've read online that Naja hints at fragrances like Tabac Blonde by Caron and Habanita by Molinard. Now, Tabac Blonde's been a long time since I've sampled it, but I have a bottle of Habanita and I can see the similarities. But this is actually, Naja actually is a, a, a complete new fragrance on its own. What I like about Naja is that it has excellent longevity. The fragrance lasts all day, um, but projection is moderate here. It's not a fragrance that projects a whole lot. You've got about two hours of good projection, then and after that the fragrance is more of a skin scent, and actually it's perfect like that because the fragrance goes through so many stages, it's just really wonderful. Until it dries down to what it is becomes the skin scent is when it starts reminding me of those classic leather fragrances. And that's where it becomes really, really beautiful because it has that vintage kind of classic vibe, which I really, really do like. I think Barrow's created something very, very unique here and the fact that the fragrance transitions from slightly fruity, slightly floral to a leather, uh, I find very, very unique and really enjoy wearing. Guys, are you familiar with Vero Profumo? Are you familiar with Nausea? Have you sampled these fragrances? Are you curious to try them? Please let me know so we can get a conversation started. Um, also, like I said, there's a link to Lucky Scent. You can check out the fragrance there or check out the rest of the Vero Profumo line. And if you wanna participate in the five samples giveaway, USA only, please put down one comment below with your state and let me know what your favorite leather and tobacco fragrances are so you can qualify. Also, please, if you're participating in giveaways on this channel, uh, please make sure that I can see your subscriptions 
Uh, as I've mentioned in the past, we've had some problems and I need to make sure that you are definitely subscribed here so that I can qualify you for the giveaway. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on Naja and Vero Profumo. Do you know this brand? Do you like the fragrances here? Are you curious to try them or have not been able to sample them? Please list below so we can get a conversation started. Also, please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye.